Okay, the me menu's a bit hard to use, but all the buttons are overlapping. We've got no peripheral vision whatsoever. I think if I knew one of my teammates was playing with this monitor, I'd be mad. Yeah, I can't see anything. So we've built a lot of PCs, Braden, and Starfield's just come out. So he wants to get a new PC for himself, but this one needs to be a little bit special. The last one he got was in a Lian Lee mini case too, but this time he's seen a lot of videos with the screen at the front on like, you know, TikTok and YouTube. So he wants to get a PC just like that. So I'll show you how we built this one and made it look nice and neat. Now bear in mind there is no kit to add a screen to the front of your Lian Li Mini PC and the stock levels of the items that you do need are going to change over time. But I'll give you an idea of what you need and what kind of compromises you have to make if you really want to get one of these screens at the front of your case. Now firstly, whilst you can get quite a few monitors that will fit inside the front of the Lian Li Mini case, the cables that come with the monitors will not allow the monitor to fit inside the case. So firstly you need to get yourself a right angle USB-C to USB-A cable that's long enough to reach to the back of the case and then you need to get yourself a right angled HDMI Mini to HDMI adapter plus a HDMI cable so that the cables can tuck away neatly along the top of the monitor on the inside of the case because the standard cables are going to hit the top of the case and you can't fit them. Next you need to consider how you're actually going to mount the monitor to the front of the case. It actually mounts to the chassis of the case not to the glass. We've used thick strong 3M tape to keep it nice and secure and we've wedged the fence from the top, the bottom and from the cooler up against the monitor to keep it extra secure. You also need to consider how you're going to mount the cooler once the monitor is actually inside the case because with the monitor at the front you can't use the regular screw holes for the cooler. So we decided to use some more strong 3M tape to mount the cooler to the case. Of course you need to plug in the monitor to get it to work. So those right angle cables I mentioned earlier need to be routed to the back of the case. You're going to use one USB port for power and one HDMI cable for the display. And to keep it neat we've got the cables coming out of the hard drive cage. So these screens inside the case are literally just normal monitors so you can do whatever you like with them. People generally get these for aesthetic reasons. If you're a streamer like Braden is you can show your logo on the front or you can show temperatures for your PC or any other kind of information that you like. At the minute we've just got wallpaper engine running on there which is pretty common. And if you really want to you can play games on these monitors but I don't recommend it because it is a portable monitor so it's 60 hertz the response rate is terrible and your peripheral vision is trash because it's vertically mounted. Ah oh, it's really hard to aim with this. Oh I'll try and snipe. Don't really need peripheral vision. This map's really hard to use though. I think sniping is oh, again got him. Yeah sniping is easier it's just your yeah, lack of peripheral vision makes Everything else very, oh. I think if I knew one of my teammates was playing with this monitor, I'd be, I'd be mad. As always, Braden has gone for the best of the best in this new PC. His last PC from us was a Ryzen 9 5950X with an RTX 3090, and that was also built in a Lian Lee mini tower case, but that was in white. This time he's gone for a black PC, but these specs are pretty much an updated version of his last computer. We've got a Ryzen 9 5950X 3D processor, which is currently the king of gaming. It is on par with the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, but the Ryzen 9 is much better for workstation tests like video editing, so it's better in this case. It's cooled by the newest NZXT Kraken Elite 240 liquid cooler with the 60 hertz screen. We've got an Asus TUF RTX 4090 24 gig overclocked edition graphics card which is still the king of gaming and it's perfect for 4K gaming or in Braden's case the Samsung Odyssey G9 which is twin 1440p 240 hertz. We've got 32 gig of Corsair Dominator DDR5 5600 megahertz RAM and a lot of people ask me why we don't use 7000 megahertz or higher RAM for these PCs and AMD AM5 processors are very picky about the RAM that you can use. It needs to be on the QVL list of the motherboard. We've got an Asus TUF X670E plus Wi-Fi DDR5 motherboard which supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 and it's got 4 M2 SSD slots. We only need one SSD in this PC and it's a Samsung 990 Pro 2 terabyte NVMe SSD which is good for 7700 megabytes per second. We've got a 1000 watt Corsair gold rated SFX L power supply which is more than enough for this PC especially since we're using an AMD processor which is very efficient. We've built this PC inside the Lian Li PC011 Dynamic Mini Black Tower Case with 9 of the Lian Li Infinity 120mm black fans the whole way around. We've got a Lian Li Strymer cable for both the motherboard and for the graphics card and we've finished off this PC with a 14 inch screen at the front of the case. If aesthetics are a big thing for you and you're considering a Lian Li mini tower case I recommend this screen modification. It's not cheap but it will make your PC stand out. It's been a while since we made this format a video but I'd love it if you could put in the comments some suggestions of what you'd like to see us do next and we've been very active on TikTok, YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels so if you haven't checked those out yet go and check them out now and as always like, comment and subscribe.